I am sitting here on the ground with a couple of our sweet babies. And I'm gonna tell you all a story that you might wanna hear. It's pretty interesting and it goes about, well, this is an oldie, but a goodie. So everyone sit back and prepare yourselves for a fun story told best by Lester and his friends. Oh yeah, and this story is about a dog, a dog just like our sweet Fiona and Trixie and Stella. This is for mature audiences only. Adult content, no sensitive viewers, and absolutely no pee pats. If you're a pee pat, just go pee pat someone else's channel today. All right, y'all enjoy. So this story is about a little fella who was about to turn 12. And he was excited because his mom had been telling him for a long time that on his birthday, she's gonna do it up right. Man, she's gonna do it up right. She's gonna have a moonwalk and they might even have a clown. And um, we're gonna invite all of his friends from school. There's gonna be, all of his friends are gonna be there. So on his special day, on his special day, when he finally turned 12, he could not wait to get home from school. <clears throat> he could not wait to get home from school because he knew that there was gonna be a party. Man, it was gonna be party central at his house. He got on his bike and he rode home a lot faster than normal, but he was disappointed as he come around He was very disappointed as he come down his street and he realized that there were no moon walks, there were no cars in the driveway, no balloons, no one there to cater any kind of a party. I mean, it was just his mom's car sitting in the driveway. He's like, dang, mom must have forgot, y'all. She must have forgot my birthday, dang it. So, of course, he felt quite dejected and as he made his way inside the house, he's like, mom. Did you forget something? Well, he could hear mom moving around upstairs. And mom says, no, I'm so sorry, honey, come on up. So he walked upstairs and he found his mom was getting dressed for work. He goes, Ma mom, what are you, uh, are, today's my birthday, you promised me. She goes, oh, oh, hold on. She goes, my boss called me earlier and he insisted that I come into work tonight. Mom, you know I hate when you work overnight. I don't like to be here alone. She goes, oh, hold on a minute. Just hear mommy out, she said. So I had to postpone the party. We will have your party. It will be tomorrow, Saturday. She goes, and all those things I promised, everything's been set up and arranged. You will have the time of your life tomorrow. She goes, and as far as tonight goes, I, I have to work, honey. You know, being a single mom, it's hard. I have to go to work when my boss calls. But she goes, I'm going to give you an early birthday gift, one that's going to make you a whole lot more comfy when you have to spend these nights alone. He's like, okay. I mean, he had no idea what she had in mind. She goes, let's walk down to the patio and uh, together we're going to open your first birthday gift one that I think you're going to really, really love. So together, he and mom walked down the stairs. They get to the patio and there was a box. There was a box sitting on the patio that had little holes cut all into it. And he could hear something inside. <laughs> he rushed over and he got that box and began to open it up. And my friends, 
out of that box was the most adorable little puppy you'd ever seen. That puppy come out of that box just licking and his eyes were so big and the puppy's tail was wagging left and right. And that little boy picked that puppy up and he just hugged him and that puppy just lick, 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 just licked him all over his face. And that boy was so darn happy. Well, mom said, now listen to me. The good thing about having a dog in the house is that they can see things, uh, especially at night, things that you can't see. They can hear things you can't hear. They can smell things you can't smell. She goes, so all you need to do is watch your dog's behavior. And if you ever feel nervous when you're home alone or you're kind of scared about something, just look at your puppy, look at your dog. He will let you know by, you know, the tail wag, the licking, if the house is safe. You don't have to be scared anymore, you know, when you're home alone. And sure enough, mom says, now I have to go, honey. She gave her son a kiss and out the door she went, leaving little fella and his new puppy there to, alone. But it didn't feel like he was alone. As a matter of fact, he took that puppy outside and they had all kinds of fun. They played around the backyard. I mean, he tossed sticks, he would roll balls, he could find, think of all kinds of games to play. And as a matter of fact, the afternoon just flew by. But it did get a little bit dark. And at some point he realized it was time to go on inside the house. He gathered up Puppy and they walked inside the house together. And he made a nice little bed there on the side of the couch where he was gonna watch some TV. At some point in the evening, the little guy began to get tired. He goes, okay, puppy, come on, it's time to go to bed now. He picked up that puppy and he carried him upstairs up to his bedroom. And he put that puppy in the uh, floor right there below the bed. He took one of his pillows, he laid it down, made a little bed for his puppy, put the puppy on top. And as the little boy laid down into his bed, he would hang his hand over the edge of the bed and he could feel that puppy just licking and licking and licking on his fingers. And believe it or not, it made that boy feel so much more content and, and safe just having that puppy there. And then he kept remember what mom said, if the puppy's demeanor and the puppy's behavior is puppy-like with tail wagging and licking, then you know the house is safe. And so sure enough, as that little boy laid there with his hand dangling off the side of the bed where puppy could lick it, that little guy fell into a deep sleep until no one knows how long it was, but at some point that little boy woke up just suddenly, just instantly woke up. He'd heard a noise in the house. He couldn't tell what it was, but he knew he'd heard something and it made him wake. He sat there listening for a minute. He couldn't hear it again. But just to make sure the house was safe, he did what his mom had warned him, had asked him. He took his hand and he slowly lowered his hand down under that bed. And sure enough, there was that nice warm tongue just licking and licking and licking at his fingers. And he's like, okay, the house is safe, so everything's good. Now, he tried to fall back asleep, but he couldn't. He began to feel like he could hear a drip, drip, drip coming from the bathroom area, the little bathroom there by his room. Now, of course, the room was dark, the lights were off, but he looked around and he went ahead and got out of bed. He tiptoed over to the bathroom to see what was all the commotion. Well, when he flipped the lights on, what he saw shocked him. My friends, in the shower, yes, in the shower, the water was dripping but you'll never guess why. He saw his puppy. Someone had taken his puppy and had tied the little puppy's hands together here. They put a piece of tape around the puppy's uh, little snout so he couldn't make any noises. And that puppy was sitting there wiggling and wiggling, somehow turned the water on and all that wiggling. And that little boy was like, what in the, how in the? And then all of a sudden the boy, little boy realized something. If my puppy is here in the bathroom all taped and tied up, 
then what was it that was licking my hands? And that little boy slowly turned back and looked into his bedroom and underneath his bed was a man. <laughs> hey, hey, cut it out now, y'all. Okay. That right there was a fun story, y'all. That was a fun story. Mm, did y'all like that? And so that is a that is a story that's called People Can Lick Too. People Can Lick Too. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Hey, move away. I think I must have scared the girls. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.